Greetings and salutations. So I'm doing a little bit of comparison. I'm, I'm de kind of debating whether or not into moving to a different video editing application, and I'm I'm comparing some of the um, the user workflow and the 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 learning curve on some of these different software applications. Uh, I've kind of fell into the the movie AVI, and I've been using that for a little while now. It's a little bit, I like the fact that everything is super dra drag and drop, and it's easy to kind of get into the the video editing aspect. It's like a great segue. If you know nothing, and then you, you want to make a video, you just basically, you know, launch the application, and then you can just drag and drop everything in there you want, and then just start moving around the timelines, and then snipping it. You know, everything is, is extremely um, uh easy to kind of figure out on your own and then they have these little suites that they sell but some of the issues that I've been running into is um, I'm starting to get a little bit more complicated or a little bit more in-depth on my video editing and also I've realized that the that as I drop videos in there, there there's a quite a bit of a degradation in our pixelation in the video quality and so as I'm trying out you know my um, a buddy of mine recommended the Filmoria 9 uh, so I'm I'm trying it out and I'm seeing if it's if it's functional enough I can uh, kind of do in a direct comparison and sharing with my audience. So if, if you folks want to, you know, do your family videos or whatever, you can kind of get a good idea or a good scope of if this application will work for you. Um, and so some of the problem solving to see if I can make my traditional type of videos, because as I as I kind of hone my craft per se. I want I want it to be able to expand with me as I hone my craft. And the issue that I have with uh, MOV AVI is that I, I kind of feel like I'm running through some limitations on what my capabilities are. So um, so I like how I, I kind of getting I'm kind of getting um, some functionality of of this this uh, software. Why is this not snapping? There we go. Okay, and I should be able. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Okay, because I usually put, whenever I do a video, I always put my little watermark. I always do my little watermark right there just to see how it how it turns out. And then uh, another big function is text. Always, okay, this is nice. Um, I think they do the... I think they do the same the same, same kind of sweet option as the movie AVI where... Um, they will offer packages. Yep, yep. They'll offer packages. Ooh, ooh. I kind of, I kind of like this Greek pack. Kind of like the Greek pack. Let's see. Um, let's see. Um, this is not a. <laughs> this is not a review. Uh, uh, ancient civilizations Greek pack. I just gotta see. I just gotta see what what. Uh, what this is i know this is a complete segue of video content and like you know shiny button shiny button <laughs> oh the audio wait i follow oh there we go your name greek pack uh i do you know what i think your name greek pack so i think there's some s s cinema uh video overlay transitions I do like the uh, elements. Okay, I could use that. I could use that. Like the, I don't know if the pillars are included with it or if it's just the writing or the. I could see though how, um, Fomoria. Okay, okay, coming soon. I think that's the flare that they're talking about. You put whatever you want in there. The name. Okay. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Anyways, back to my original stop this. Um, so they do have a, a degree of functionality to where you can expand um, you can expand on existing um, let me see what they have here. So ah, uh, and they give you a little preview, same as same as okay, I thought they gave you a preview. You have to hit play. Yeah, okay. You have to hit play first and then it'll give you an example of the with the movie AVI, it does the same thing. So if I go up here, and then I go, or actually effects, right? And if I if I click on it, no, that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. That's totally not what I want to do. If I, 
right here. If I click on it, it gives me the example, right? It gives me, it just goes through and it's like, this is what it does. And then you drag and drop it down into your menu where the movie AVI, um, it doesn't, there it goes. I have to double click. It gives you the, the example of what, um, that's all right. I kind of dig that. So it gives you, it's got quite a, actually quite a bit of stuff in here. Um, oh, it keeps going. Nice. Gives you quite a bit. Oh, I guess it's got to download it to see if it, um, very nice. So, so just as, as a test, let's, this is not my thing, but we'll just drag it, drop it in there. Okay. And we'll, we'll do, oh, I like how you expand the bar. It gives you how long it's for. So we're going to do 10 seconds. I usually do my intros for like two seconds, 10 seconds, close enough. Okay. And then your text. Nice. So broken. Oh, wait, it's not typing. Can I not type? Because I'm, okay, I could either type there. Ah, uh, or, or you can see up here, I can do it here. Nice. I actually prefer the dialog box to the upper left because it's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes to tech. And when you're clicking on them, you're moving your boxes around. So, um, yeah. Uh, and then, um, is it still centered though? It looks as it doesn't look like it's centered anymore. There we go. Oh, it's got the snap lines. Very nice. Very nice. I wonder if I can use my arrow keys to... Oh, yep. Yep. I don't think you can do that with the, the Filmoria keys. Use your arrow keys to kind of kind of snap it in. Get it... Get the... Get the, the way you want it displayed correctly, right? And then let's... Uh, I don't see... It. Oh, here it is. Okay. And then we'll go here and we'll just hit play. Ah, very nice. Very nice. Let's see what the advanced button does. Uh, if I go back this, I double click. Let's go advanced. Um, oh, I'm able to even further edit um, within that 10 seconds. Let's see, let's, let's move it all the way and just hit, okay, let's see what happens. Okay, hit play. Oh, the transition, the transition slows way down. Let's hit this again. Uh, it slows it way down. Okay, and I do like that degree of advanced. Let's move it, let's move it quicker. So, oh, you can now I get it. So it even gives you a visual representation of the um, the animation as it takes effect. So lots of lots of tailoring. I like that. Lots of modifying. Let's try this. Oh, sh what's going on? There we go. I accidentally, Chris. Okay, I obviously boogered it up. The time, the timing is was much better as the default, but uh, I you get the idea. So um, if I want to do that in movie movie AVI, um, let's say drag to drop this down here. Okay, a similar type of uh, setup, and let's make this. I do like how I can drag it and and expand it, but the issue that I run into. So if I hit play, you'll see. I apologize for the audio. Let me. Let me get this get this uh, down a little bit. Um, okay, and I do like these simple animations. Okay, but uh, let's see if I can if I double click it. See, I can't get into. Let me right click it. I can't get into an options though. Um, I mean, I can move the the text around and the, and okay. So my options, my settings are up here at the top. My text. I can change the font type. Um, I can change, I can add outlines, uh, save custom settings, and I can change the time. And I believe, I don't really know what this is. I think, I think that's the duration of the animation. It's just displayed differently. Maybe I boogered it up. 
Let's see. I couldn't tell a difference. I couldn't tell a difference in the in the. Uh, let me max it out. Let's try this again. Uh, it moved quicker. Okay. So all it did was sped it up or slow it down. Ah, uh, there it is. That's all that is. Is moves it moves quicker, but you can see where if I go all, there's a there's a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff. I feel like the Filmoria has more stuff. Let me go back and see what other, and also the there's just it just seems like text video. You know, you also have transparency. Oh wow, you can spin it, rotate it. It, it just seems more make it larger. Oh wow, there's a lot of text. What is this? Make it bigger. Line spacing, alignment. Wow. Let me go back. I boogered that up. I boogered that up. I do. I do like. Oh, I think I found a little bug because once I moved it. Even though I'm hitting back, it doesn't want to, it goes forward. It doesn't want to put it in the exact same place as it was. Well, let's do that again, right? And then if I go back, it's not quite in the exact same place. Interesting. Um, but yeah, the it, it feels like there's a lot. Oh, look at your font options. Okay, hit OK. Let's go back to text. Oh, wait, I got to double click this. And then you got, you can change up your font. Yeah, I mean the other one had that. You can change up your. They have a bunch of presets, tools. I wonder. I wonder what the functionality of animations are. Like, um, you know how how difficult it is to to craft these and and integrate them into the the system. Um, I think I'm gonna st I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm kind of getting a flow on how everything works, and for my my level of editing and animation, um, this this uh, I think I think I'm gonna pick this up. I'm I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing, and between the two of them, maybe I can. Uh, uh, let me let me just check. Let me, I'm gonna end the video. I'm gonna do one more video on exporting and file conversion and file software, and um, see what that experience is like. Before, before I pick it up. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this kind of content. Or if you, you know. Hopefully you learn something. You do a little video editing. Always leave some feedback. I'm not really worried about subscriber. I mean that's that's its own metric. and um, But feedback is what's important to me. Thank you for watching.